If we want to solve for the value of x, we need to notice a few things. First thing that we need to notice is that 10, 60, and 90 are all multiples of 10. Noticing that, we see that we get x cubed equals to 10 cubed plus 6 times 10 cubed minus 9 times 10 cubed. Using the laws of exponents, we see that we will end up with x cubed equals to 10 cubed plus 6 cubed times 10 cubed minus by 9 cubed times 10 cubed. What we see is that all of these have 10 cubed, so let's factor out 10 cubed. So in other words, we get x cubed equals to 10 cubed times, there's not a number in front of this, so let's just make that 1, plus 6 cubed minus by 9 cubed. Let's go ahead and do each cube, so we end up with x cubed equals to 10 cubed times 1 plus 216 minus by 729. Adding those together, we see that we end up with x cubed equals to 10 cubed times negative 512. What we notice is that negative 512 is a cube. In fact, that is negative 8 cubed. So this is x cubed equals to 10 cubed times negative 8 cube. Well, if we want to solve for x, all we have to do is just take the cube root. So in other words, we have x equals to 10 times negative 8, and that equals to negative 80.